Next under three, cash flow statement. This year is mandatory in nature. It is fully exempt for level two, level three, and SMC means small. We have discussed the framework of accounting standard in our previous videos. Do check them out. A question is relevant to from that portion. It will just take twenty minutes of yours, but you will secure. and you will be able to memorize all these things uh, that which as is exempt for which entity and which as is partially exempt for which smc non smc and all the criteria are mentioned below at one place in one video let's see cash flow statement <sighs> mandatory in nature but fully exempt for 2 3 and smc cash flow statement means statement of flow of cash and cash equivalents over a specified period of time of reporting flow cash equivalent can contain three things bank cash but obvious and short term liquid investments expected to be realized within 3 months very important format of cash flow statement operating activities cash flow cash flow from investing and financing we all know three activities then we'll do the total and we'll do add the opening balance and we'll get the closing balance and if we get it the closing correct closing balance it means we have prepared the correct cash flow all right and now next we will discuss all these operating investing and financing activities now what is meaning of cash flow from operating oper operating activities cash flow from operating activity means revenue generating and incidental items principal revenue generating and incidental items cash flow from operating activities can be computed with two methods one is direct method and one is indirect method in case of cash flow are calculated using ledgers cash is based on operating items and financial statement all right it is pretty simple direct method you just have to take the cash balances and cash figures from the cash account which are related to operating activities let's check out once again in case of cash flow in this case cash flow are calculated using ledger cash is based on operating items and financial statement indirect method in this cash flow are calculated by adjusting the net profit with non cash items and non operating items for example net profit will add back depreciation all right let's see an example of cash flow i would request you to do this question by yourself this is a question to calculate cash flow from operating activities from direct method and from indirect method all right i have given you the profit and loss account debtor opening balance stock expense payable creditor closing balances calculate cash flow from operating activities using direct method and indirect method all right indirect method and direct method we have discussed everything right over here you just check the question this is pretty much very easy so let's move further cash flow from investing activities these are cash flow from investing activities it means all cash flow related to fixed asset and investment including profit and loss on sale of such fixed asset all right cash flow from financing activities means those persons or we can say the provider of finance any activity related to them for example dividend paid now dividend received will be in an investing because we have invested in equity shares so we got received the dividend it is very much important to differentiate in these two terms all right these are cash flow from financing activity it means cash flow related to capital structure including short term borrowings and service cost all right point number 7 in case of financing financial institution interest earned will be considered as operating whenever any asset or liability has shown a 
at relevant amount due to forex or policy reason then such a revaluation effect should be eliminated it is a kind of tiny little important point in this complete as and the last point is disclosure requirements detail of cash and cash equivalent all right if any subsidiary associate or joint venture is sold off or purchased during the year in any non cash transaction then such transaction should be disclosed undrawn borrowing facility should be disclosed for example limit account for example if you have a cash credit limit of 10 lakh cc limit and you have used 8 lakh it means 2 lakh limit is still pending you have to disclose it in the financial statement all right as per point number 3 Point number four, cash and cash equivalents which are not disclosed. Oh, sorry, which are not available for use should be disclosed. I have written this because the space was not much. So uh, the space was insufficient, so I have uh, shifted this word over here. This means cash and cash equivalent. which are not available for use should be disclosed so this completes our as 3 cash flow statement this as is not so relevant but i'll recommend you one question that you should attempt from practice manual just hold on This is practice manual, financial reporting, accounting standard three. There is only one question that you should practice, and you can, and that is question number eighteen. Do practice this question. It will take less than three to four minutes.